Her Royal Majesty, Queen Jenna of Divinity's Reach. are assembled and awaiting your presence. You may proceed to the Umphalus chamber. That's our cue. Best behavior, everyone. I can't wait to see Florence's stupid face when he realizes we're right. Pardon, I'm sorry to interject myself, but I'm afraid your golem won't be allowed to ascend to the Umphalus chamber. What? Oh. This is for grown-ups anyway, Timey. You need to wait for us down here. You're kidding, right? Somebody needs to stay down here and guard our backs. We'll be vulnerable up there. I'll tell you all about it later. Promise. You better remember every little detail, Bram. All right, Scruffy and I will guard the way up. Not enough endurance. Esteemed leaders, welcome to the Grove. Your attendance at this critical summit is appreciated. We are here at the behest of the honored group you see before you. I'm told you're all familiar with one another, so I won't make introductions. I will, however, let their spokesperson give us a summary. So, without further ado, please begin. Thank you for that information. Esteemed leaders, what are your thoughts? Mordremoth. Its attacks have been far-reaching, but unfocused. Meanwhile, Ascalonian ghosts continue to harass us. Ulbrich has its hands full with Jormag and the Sons of Svania. You want us to leave our homesteads to their mercy and go after Mordromoth? I have Wolfborn and Hunters who are eager to face the prey of a lifetime. They'll come. Why isn't the Pact handling this? Are they mired in ore? Much as I am loath to admit it, Ratasum has evidence of Mordramoth's insidious invasion. Its tendrils prey on the magic that powers our waypoints and gates. I don't doubt that Mordramoth is a great threat to Tyria. But the safety of my people must be my foremost priority.
I will dedicate a special force to dealing with this new threat. If there is no Tyria, there is no Divinity's Reach. You have all given me hope for Tyria.